Hi, welcome to another episode of uh, Merenda Italiana. So we are discovering the south part of Italy. Um, today, uh, particularly, we're starting from Abruzzo. So I would like just to touch base on something we discussed the other time with Lazio in particular because uh, uh, the very generous De Palma Salumi, based in Australia, they sent me a beautiful guanciale that we were talking the other time. So as you can see, guanciale, beautiful pour, uh, cured meat that we can make a nice pasta, just kind of thinly the slice, make, just cut it through and then cook it a little bit and then you can make the famous amatriciana pasta and other beautiful dishes with the guanciale they actually give a beautiful flavors to uh, many 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 plates and dishes that we can make um, even something with vegetable just to give a little bit of uh, flavors into it you can just put some guanciale unless obviously you're vegetarian uh, starting from Abruzzo today, so the south part of Italy we will split in two parts because uh, there are many uh, regions. Uh, so I will go a little bit faster on the on the salumi. And uh, if you have any question, obviously just leave a comment below, and then we can discuss further on that. So in particular from Abruzzo, from Abruzzo I have here the Ventricina. So I had many times the Ventricina while I was in Abruzzo. Abruzzo is a beautiful region because. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Calabria in some way where you have those mountains and the coast so you have those beautiful tradition going there uh, going on in there so obviously what I would like to match from that area in particular is the white and red as we do usually uh, white wine it could be a nice uh, pecorino pecorino abruzzese a red wine can be a Montepulciano Colline Terramane uh, from uh, red wine, obviously, style. Uh, Montepulciano, in this particular case, is the grape varieties, which is different than Montepulciano in Tuscany, which is based on Sangiovese. So in Abruzzo is a Montepulciano d'Abruzzo, Colline Terramane from Montepulciano grape. So a match with a beautiful Ventricina. Um, then moving to the Molise, uh, we have, I had a beautiful salame once, uh, which I think is a Presidio Slow Food as well, uh, which is the Signora di Conca Casale. In Molise, unfortunately, many people do not know the production of wine over there, uh, but let me tell you that it is absolutely amazing. Uh, I discovered Molise wine a while ago, and still many Italian sommelier do not know about this particular region and many sommelier around the world do not know much about this particular region. Well, go and discover and I'm very proud to say that here in Australia we have a, a very good importer which is called Movini, uh, which is brings Molise wine and in particular what I would like to recommend from this area, a red wine, which is uh, Tintilia. So definitely if you want to try something very good, something unique, go and try Tintilia from, um, uh, from Molise. So and then we move to Campania. Uh, obviously in Campania we have so many beautiful salami. I had beautiful experience even if even other uh, products from Campania absolutely outstanding, in particular when we talk about cheeses. So while we start going down in the south of Italy, um, in particular in Calabria as well, we have this type of cow which is called Podolica, which make a very good milk for cheeses. Uh, we're, you know, we know the cacio cavallo and those type of things, but we move the cheeses to another videos. This is a part, uh, in particular about salumi and salami and merenda l'italiana. So today we're talking about this uh, beautiful soppressate and uh, salsicce that they make in the uh, in Campania, like soppressate and salsiccia del uh, Vallo di Diano. So absolutely beautiful production of uh, this particular salumi. And I have here a bottle of Campania. So I'm showcasing a little bit more about the products that I had here in the cellar and uh, and the product that are still available here in Australia. So this is Admiral. The reason why I have chosen this wine is also because it's made from a very indigenous grape variety. It's very important indigenous grape variety. It's mentioned by Pliny the Elder, Pliny il Vecchio, so which is Piedi Rosso grape, 100%, by Cantina Rea. So in this particular case, uh, we spoke about uh, three regions. So obviously we got the uh, Molise, we had the Abruzzo and the Campania just do not stop discovering those beautiful italian products so go to your salumeria so to your daily go to your uh supermarket or wherever you want to go wherever you are in the world if you're watching this video and ask about those products like the ventricina uh the soppressate and salsiccia that i mentioned before from campagna or if you like to the, the guanciale or if you like the uh, the other product that we haven't been mentioning on those videos just go and ask for them and have the beautiful experience 
if you have any question or there's something you don't remember or something you didn't understand uh, please just leave a comment below and then i'm very happy to answer to you we can have a, a beautiful uh, discussion we can invite some uh, producer perhaps to interact with us so please uh, don't be afraid or shame to just leave a comment and we can uh, uh, talk about that so i'll see you in the next second part of uh, salumi d'italia uh, ending with the uh, south of italy uh, second part and then uh, in the following videos we were talking about cheeses and antipasti and so many other beautiful things okay thank you so much have a lovely afternoon ciao from sydney